West. Welcome to Lauren Oberstein. Hello. Hello. Oh, Lauren. Hey, hey, you guys. That was so great. Thank you. It's been cool to hear her talk. Good evening. First of all, thank you guys so much for having me. I was on campus all day today, and the energy here is just awesome. It's so positive. Everyone's so excited about chiropractic. I love it. Um, so like Josh said, I'm 13th quarter, so I consider myself done with school. Um, and when I found out I was going to be speaking to a lot of students, I started to think about all the lessons I've learned throughout my 13 quarters of chiropractic school, and there are a lot. And I think that the biggest lesson I learned through the whole thing was just being anchored and staying anchored. And what I mean when I'm talking about being anchored is not like putting your head down in the books and not picking it up again until graduation. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about opening your heart, opening your mind, embracing every experience you have in school, but at the same time, not letting that anchor move. And a lot of people, you know, anchor to techniques and anchor to a certain way they want to practice and anchor to maybe a demographic that they want to see. But the anchor I'm talking about is a lot deeper than that. I'm talking about the anchor that is your purpose. Why you chose chiropractic for the rest of your life. And I know a lot of people say to help people or because I want to make the world a healthier place, but you can do that with a lot of things. Why did you choose to be a chiropractor? And let me tell you that this anchor got me through a lot of rough times in school. I don't know how it is here at Life West, but at Life University, you get to like fifth, sixth, seventh quarter, and it seriously feels like school is just hitting you over the head with a bat. And if I didn't have that anchor, my other Life U alums can agree. <laughs> um, and if I didn't have that anchor, I don't know if I would have been able to stay as sane as I did. And I realized that I needed to get really clear on my anchor first quarter. First quarter we had a class and the teacher, and my first quarter class was 160 people, and the teacher had every single person stand up and say why they were here. And that's when I realized, you know, everyone stands up and says their chiropractic story. And that's when I realized that I didn't have one. Like Josh said, you know, I have a lot of family members that are chiropractors. This is my family. That's your very own Morgan Oberstein taking lead vocals right in the front. But I don't have one of those stories where like, boom, it just hit me. Like, one adjustment, oh, I gotta be a chiropractor. Or, you know, one thing that happened in my life and I was like, boom, I gotta be a chiropractor. I don't have that story. You know, chiropractic was part of me since I was in the womb. My mom was adjusting three to four days a week while she was pregnant with me. So I realized that I needed to get very, very clear on why I was a chiropractor and not because, you know, my parents are chiropractors. So this took a, a little bit of time for me to figure out, but I figured it out and I realized, you know, my anchor was the fact that I want to spend every single day of my life telling people the truth. Telling people the truth about health, about where health comes from and about their poten the potential inside of their body. I'm sure you all know that not a lot of people get told that, especially when it comes to healthcare. Am I right? Because a majority of babies right now being born, you know, they're born in the hospital, and before the baby even leaves the hospital, they want to give the baby, you know, the Hep B vaccine or whatever shots and the drops in the eyes. And to me, I don't know about you guys, but to me, what that is telling the baby is you're not strong enough, you're not capable. You're not good enough. That's what they're telling the baby. Because if they were strong enough, if they were capable, if they, if they were good enough, they wouldn't need all of this stuff. So that's really what I found to be my anchor. Because I know people need to be told that they are capable, and they are strong enough, and they are good enough. Because that's the truth. And we know that as chiropractors. We study the ins and outs of the body. Am I correct? <laughs> for all you students. Um, and that's, that's when I found my anchor and I wasn't gonna, gonna move. And I know you guys know this quote, who can anchor to an unanchored mind. And I promise you that if you find your anchor, 
and you do not let it move, that your school experience will be so much, I don't even want to say better, but rewarding. And the experiences that you have will affect your life forever. And not only will it help you as a student, but I'm sure all the docs here in the room will agree that it will help you out tremendously once you're out in the field dealing with real people. Um, at Life University, we spend our last six months of school doing our PEAK program, which is where we leave the outpatient clinic and we go into private practices. It's pretty much like an associateship, but we're still a student. And I'm doing my PEAK program with a doctor outside of Atlanta. And just sitting in her new patient consult and listening to her, it's like she can say, this woman is so anchored that she can just say, I know what I'm looking for, and if I find it, you need to get on my table. And these people are like, yeah, I'll sign up for a year. And I'm like, oh, wait, but you don't, they don't even know what you're going to do. Like, she's, and they can just tell that because she's so anchored, and she's been anchored for a really long time, if that makes sense. And this is my foot, this one right here. And these are three of my friends. And I was lucky enough to go to school and find a group, there's actually seven of us, girls. And it was like, you ever like meet that person, you just start talking about chiropractic, and it's like, okay, yeah, boom, friends for life. I found six of them, like right away. <laughs> and you know, one day we were sitting in the cafe, one of my friends was like, you know what, we should go get little tattoos of anchors on our feet. And it was like, no one had to say, you know, let me think about it, or you know, I don't know, I don't know what my mom's gonna say. We were like, yep. We should do that. And that's what we did. Because we, we know how important it is, and we know that we're going to be anchored to that for the rest of our lives. So I really want to challenge you to get clear on why it is that you're here and why it is that you chose to do this for the rest of your life. It may take an hour. It may take a couple days. It may take some weeks, and it may take months. But I promise you, promise you, promise you that it will make your life so much more beautiful and the experience at school and your experience in chiropractic for the rest of your life will make you eternally grateful. Thank you, guys. Blow me up.